we're on. Are we on? We're on live. I, I, don't, I think we're on. I don't, I don't know. I can't hear it yet. Let me just make sure it's got some noise. It has. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Last minute panics as usual. It wouldn't be us if it's don't last minute panic. panics. Don't panic, man. Don't panic. Don't panic. Right. I need a drink. Before I do anything else, I haven't had five seconds to just, just stop and open Quench my can of drink. Quench your thirst, Andy. Quench your thirst. Quench my thirst. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mod Shoes Live. I am standing in for Andy's wing woman, Gemma, at the moment. My name's Beth, and I'll be here until further notice. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. Andy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Wouldn't be me if I didn't make some sort of mess up. Hi guys, what we're here to do, slightly different tonight, and try and be a little bit professional, <laughs> is for the last few weeks, Luke's been helping me, and we've been doing the lives, and we've been doing just some fun topics and stuff like that. But what's coming up is that it's spring and summer's coming along, and the eagle-eyed ones of you will notice that we've got some new shoes for the ladies. Now, primarily, what this show is about is talking about these new shoes and I'd, I'd love this Mod Shoes Live to turn it into something where yeah me and Luke get to chat and when Covid allows us to have more than me and Beth sitting as far away as she is over there in the studio then it'd be a much more social thing yes and lots of stuff so that's why Beth's here we're going to talk about these yes so um, Andy I want to ask you firstly on. about the Sybil you want to ask a, me about I the want Sybil. to ask you about the Sybil this is one of my favourites out of the previews I want you to tell me about them and um, they're just wonderful. Yep, they're a very nice shoe. I'm going to go straight to a close up. Rambo, is it working? Yeah. I, I think, think it is. Beautiful, beautiful shoe, part leather, part, part suede, as you can see. And um, they come with two sets of laces. They do come with, with two, two sets, sets of laces. laces. I should have been prompted and found the other laces, but there you go. It's, it's got the burgundy as well, so if you wanted it to match, you, you can do that as well. well. Beautiful looking shoe. I think this has got a real 40s look to it, um, and 20s, I imagine people in the 20s Yeah, you could wear it like a um, kind of flapper style, you could wear it as a, yes. a dress shoe, yeah, they're really, yeah. really nice. It's proper nice, isn't it? And they'd be it? good for dancing as well, so... Yeah, yeah, and um, that's kind of the idea. Um, all of our shoes, we always use this, this sole, the reason mm. we use this sole is for, for the people that like to dance. Yeah. And when we can go back to Northern Soul Do's... In the real and, world. Yeah, in the real world, <laughs> yes. They, then we'll, we'll have a situation where they can dance in those. So, yeah. Um, I could rabbit all day, so you, you, you need could, to keep me on, to, yeah, on track. No, so, next ones um, are the Marianne's, which are the brightest ones out of the collection. A yep. um, little bit more about these. These are just an extension of the current Marianne range, aren't they? They are. They are vegan ones. We get asked to do vegan ones every now and again. Thank you. Um, what we'll do is let's go up to the camera. They're the best colour ever. They're beautiful. Beautiful bright orange. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, it's vegan, um, but it's got a lovely feel about it. Some people say, oh, plastic shoes. They're not just plastic shoes. It's like a composite material. So when you wear them, they're proper comfortable. You're not wearing sweaty plastic shoes from China. These are proper nice shoes that you're going to look fabulous in. They're lined as well, so you've learned them. They're not they just the plastic on your, you know. No, they're beautiful. And the Marion has been a very popular shoe for us. It's a classic design, isn't it? It's, it's proper nice. I mean, we're going to come on to outfits and bits and pieces. Excuse and Andy, you said as well, with these being vegan, they're also a bovine-free glue. So That's, yes, very important. Well done. So they've, <laughs> they've not got any kind of animal product in there at all. Yeah, which we... Is, which is really important for some people. That is. We haven't got the money to be registered at the vegan authority. It costs a lot of money, yes. Yes, yeah. So um, the people that make them for us make them for another company that does have okay. bona fide. So they are, I can say they are, Yes. but I don't have a certificate mm -hmm. that says they are. Mm -hmm. But for the yeah. people out there who want to know, these are fully vegan um, yes. friendly. So yeah. for you plant-based babes, these are going to be perfect. Yes. Um, next is, uh, again, the boots. Uh, we've got the Nancy, and these come in two colour options, um, again, and uh, did you say these were wide fit? I, they were no, I think when Nikki put them on, she said they, they felt lovely and roomy. Mm -hmm. Is it these, Rambo, she said was roomy? Oh, I felt, know, when I tried them on, I felt that they were a wider fit compared yeah. to the Marianne's, and a more kind of like, um, for a broader foot, and again, you've got a lot of ankle room there as well, yes. which is nice, so. Yeah, they're fantastic. Let me get the close up on that. Um, a few things, things to, to draw your attention, attention to. to. In, in terms, terms of all of the designs, designs which we're going to come on to in a minute, where, where, where the inspiration come from, these these boots are kind of like a sort of classic shape, but we really wanted to get this lovely big 
uh, buckle on, on the side, side here because, because that's sort of a, such a, set, a 60s thing, mm, you yeah, know, to have that buckle. Yeah. And it's and really it's, punky as well. I, I like yeah. it. And, and it's got the zip there, there so, so you don't actually have to undo it. You've got the zip to undo it. Oh, you can set it easily. So it obviously comes undone and you can get the boot on and off. Now, as I was saying, you know, that, that, that to me has a bit of a blondie feel about mm, it. Debbie yeah, Harry, yeah. Toya, yeah. Wilcox. Um, why have you bought a boot out now, though? Why, why now? Because um, we haven't done before. Just <laughs> extending the range, extending the range. It's, it's as simple as mm -hmm. that. I just need to have a drink. Um, these, these as well, I think, um, from a woman's point of view, would be really good in the office. So you can wear them when you go back to work. Or you can wear them out. They'd look great with a pair of fishnets. They'd look good with a suit. So you can, yes. you can really double them up there. They're kind of like... Yeah, no, they're fantastic. From from yeah, that point of really view, good. it's really good. What else did I want to make sure? Uh, I when's mentioned? the launch date and time? People are asking. Yeah, no, I do need to go back to something I've got here. Okay. Um, yeah, it's in terms of how many we've got of these. Mm -hmm. We've got um, there's less than forty of each okay. colour. Uh, when we do stuff, when we introduce stuff, we get people quite often asking the question, "When are you going to restock yeah. this? When are you going to do you're this?" You're not sure. You, you're not sure. So, can I please say, if you fancy any of those? There's 40 of them, when they're gone, guess what? They're probably not going to be repeated. Or well, they might be repeated. We have a bit of a tier mm -hmm. system here. So if somebody's popular, like the Marianne, mm -hmm. that stays with us. And we hope yeah. all our shoes are going to be Will these be live after the show? No, they're going to be live on Friday. Righty ho. Five o'clock on Friday. So they're, they're, they're general, our lovely customers and people who are watching us, that will be Friday. Somebody's okay. desperately trying to get a pair on the phone as There's we speak. There's somebody ringing right now saying, give me a pair of those boots <laughs> right now. <laughs> They are. What else do I need to say? I wanted to talk about the names. Yes, uh, so we've got the Sybil. So let's go to the Sybil that we saw first. Where I, did her name come I from? I was pondering this. Me, Nikki and Rambo name everything at the moment. Nikki's very good at um, naming them. I hope it's not Sybil Faulty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't I, think it is. I don't think yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know where she got that one from. Um, it's obvious with the Nancy, because Nancy, my boots are made for walking, yeah, Frank Sinatra. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, so that, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And the Marianne is named after our daughter, mm -hmm. who's Marianne. So, uh, uh, and who's named after Marianne Faithful, uh, the singer? Wonderful. And yeah. again, the, this is just an extension, isn't it, to yes. the current Marianne, so they it come is. in other colours. And all of them, in set for these Marianne's, are the, the vegan ones, correct? Yeah, they're vegan, the rest of the leather. The rest of leather, leather. fantastic, yeah. just yeah. so everybody knows. Just, just to reiterate about the the vegan point mm -hmm. um we'd like to do more vegan the, the truth be known i'd probably happily sell nothing but vegan shoes if, if it's still early doors yeah yeah and and i think as a society we're not quite ready mm -hmm. you know and and i the, think the, as well it's getting customer feedback so if you do buy, buy a pair of the vegan ones get back to andy and tell him how you got on with them yeah well, no, because get, you know that. that's important i think there's everything else is done on that list we've got there yes it, it is is it time for an advert already? It is indeed. Well, let's go to the advert. Over to Rambo. <laughs> the beautiful candy striped shirt by 66 Clothing of Mod Shoes. A brilliant shirt that evokes the look of some of the retailers you used to get on Carnaby Street in the 60s. A similar style that was worn by lots of bands in the 60s, including the Small Faces. And a brilliant alternative to the regular check shirt or even a plain shirt. A shirt with brilliant details. Four finger collar roll, a red, blue and white candy stripe. Breast pocket that matches the stripe. A double button barrel cuff, a locker loop, a back collar button and a box pleat on the back. These shirts come in regular fit so stick to your size. I'm about a 40 chest so a medium fitted me absolutely perfect. These shirts can be dressed up or down. They look good with denim jackets, with a blazer or just on its own. Pair them with some mod shoes, the Charles Brogue or the Dayton's. A great alternative to the regular plain shirt, the Candy Stripe by 66 Clothing. Hello guys. So I just need to write something to sound fixed on our Instagram people. <laughs> Andy is just looking through comments on social media at the moment to see what you guys are talking about and just answering some questions. Yeah, so. I'm just making sure it all works on there. Yes, it does. And I've got the, the thing on here. Is it working? Yeah, right, let's do some social media shout outs. Um, hello Debbie, Pete Cole, Lucy, Lucy Lulu is saying love those. Nic uh, Nicola McKennan, who's one of our lovely ladies, loves them. Lucy Brenner, when will they be available? They'll be available on the website on Friday at five o'clock, unless you're on the newsletter. If you're on the newsletter, which you can join at the bottom of the website, just go to the bottom of the website, 
you'll probably find out about an hour before everybody else because so our customers get first dips um, is always the way um, I'm a five and a half should I go for a five or a six in the boots the answer to that one is I um, could probably answer that Andy because I'm on. a five and a half I tried on both the boots and I would say size if you're a five and a half get the five they're roomy they're comfortable a five will be fine for you a six will be too big possibly and um, so go for a five I would if you're a five and a half they're nice and broad easy to put on and easy to take off but go for um, a five rather than a five and a half that's cool don't forget guys we do do the, the two for one thing mm -hmm. you buy two for size we put in a free yeah. DVD re return slip so, so yeah if you're unsure get the five and the six and like Andy said you can send them back um, hi Andrew Andy, Andy got your shirt on yes of course Pete <laughs> I have. of course I've got one of the shirts on uh, um, Claire, Claire is asking can I order please you can on Friday uh, on Friday um, at five o'clock Claire I think you're on the, the mailing list already because it's somebody I know I think you're on the mailing list already, so just um, you'll get an email about quarter past four, I think, mm -hmm. and you can you, you can. An hour before it. you get to. Um, you get a preview link. A Basically, preview. you get a link that the general public can't get to. Wonderful. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, Sue Little, Littler, sorry, loves the boots. Um, and Julie said thank you for the size and advice. So you're welcome, that's Julie. why we're doing this this show as we're yes. doing it. So thank you. So keep asking questions. If you've got anything else you want to know, uh, go for it. Right, I've got some other housekeeping stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, this top, uh, um, we launched them on Friday. Over half of them are gone already. Um, we're down to one or two in a, a couple of the sizes. Mm -hmm. So if you, um, I think in a 3XL or whatever, there are literally two left. Don't hesitate with them. They're yep. not gonna be repeated. Yeah. If you if you want one, buy it now. Don't do that sort of, oh, I'll get it when I get paid Go next. onto the Mod Shoes website and get yourself one yeah, because yeah. there's a handful left. Yeah, definitely do that. One of the things to consider there as well, some people say about well, payday, I don't want to make people spend money, but we offer clear pay, so you can mm -hmm. offer four payments, and it's, I think it's bi-weekly, or it's every other week. Yeah. So it's over eight weeks, which is fat. Which is great, and it's easy, and you can pay it off as you go, yeah, so that's, that's good. Cool. Um, the shirts, shirts been selling well, I'm very pleased with them. Um, what else to say about them? What Again, stocks left on those? Not many. Okay. There, there was only about 30, 35 each, those okay. anyway. And it so, goes the same, doesn't it, once they're gone? They're gone, yeah, they're that's, gone. Not, that's not going to repeat. Yep. Now, Mother's Day on Sunday, don't forget Mother's Day. Don't forget. Yeah, I And know. just if anyone wants to know, it's my birthday on Saturday as well. <laughs> 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 oh, that's cool. So, Mother's Day, we've got a Mother's Day page, go to the yes. front page. Click the Mother's Day link. There's a whole load of things on there. I'm mainly looking at men who might have forgotten. If you've forgotten, there is some fantastic bags and earrings as well yes, that you can please. we can link to, which we're previewing here. Um, again, which are lovely, and all mums love bags. Like they do. And last one then is: Can you fly up Luke and Gemma's gig on Saturday? Mod shoes, uh, friends, Luke and Gemma are doing a, a virtual gig on Saturday. It's going to be in here. Uh, uh, um, I'm going to be over there mm -hmm. doing all the cameras and doing. And will the, the link be on the Mod Shoes website, or will it be on Facebook? If there's a link to go to the event. It's a paid affair. Okay. Because you're not allowed to sing too close unless you're being paid. Right. Which, so um, Luke and them, but all the money's going to NHS, fabulous. which I think is very So we're very going to purpose. support the fabulous NHS because they're doing wonders at the moment. Yeah. So and Luke and Gemma go to the link on the Facebook or the social media and give them your coins because it's all for the NHS. Yes. So, now for the fun bit and the bit that we love you best for, Beth. Du, 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 du. Can we have some applause, please, on the on the camera here? <laughs> I will be Andy's Debbie McGee today. Yes. So, <laughs> you're the lovely, yeah, the lovely Debbie McGee. So, yes. you're going to take us through a few ideas, I believe. I am indeed. Um, I basically picked a capsule wardrobe for Andy for this evening. There's a mixture of new clothes and vintage clothes and they're all for different shapes and sizes. Andy's got a few examples as well that he's gonna flash up on the screen and just to show you what these look good with. So if you're a bit stuck sometimes for what to put them with, I'm gonna give you some ideas. So we're gonna go, do you want to look at the Sybils first? Yep. So we've got the wonderful Sybils, fantastic again, like we said, it's almost like an oxblood color. I've got quite a few options here and I think these would look good on a beautiful mod chick with some amazing kind of just some, again, palazzo pants, trousers, really, really good. Maybe with some tights or some socks underneath, really, really simple and easy. And you could wear that in the office as well. 
really really simple so nice and easy and he's going to bring up a picture i believe yep if we talk we've about got some pictures as well yep go for it i put those on screen i put those with an amazing bit of cord so we've also got a corduroy dress here a nice little skinhead look we've also got it with the 66 clothing shirt as well to make it a little bit more accessible. Hold that on the screen a bit longer, just so Rambo will give you the shout when she's done, will you? Yeah. Got it? Yep. Wonderful. I so, think that's a good look. These, yeah. these are, I think, I think what we're trying to prove here. You can wear them casually and you can wear them in the office, so they're not just for business attire or dancing. You can wear them with a casual outfit without it looking too um, kind of made up. You could wear it with block colour tights, you could wear it with a pair of black jeans as well also you have a picture to go to the next pair yes if we go to this pair um, which is the now what I liked about these boots and we've talked about it already yes. is a little bit about these boots is I match in punk girls as well as uh, 60s girls um, I'm not saying there's lots of punks around anyway but but it's kind of one of those things where this is a lot more versatile than mm. you imagine you could wear it with a business suit and you could wear it with fishnets Yes. That's, you could. It's got both ends of the spectrum, I think. You could wear it with a business suit and it look really sharp, but you could also wear it with a pair of fishnets and a leather skirt and it look badass. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good word, badass. Badass. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I give you that, and, and mm. I think that's what was probably going through. They're right ageless, here. so um, yeah. you don't. They're not um, age specific. Again, they're quality leather. They're like I said, they're a good roomy size. I've tried them on. They've got a lot of room in there. They've got the buckle on the side, so definitely. And I think you've got a picture. I've, I've, yeah, I, it's a picture been on. Or yeah, it's on. yeah we've the put the picture on. up. Um, again, that's a lovely kind of shirt dress that we've put it with. But also, um, I think you could easily wear it with some houndstooth. Yeah, so I, we've got nice. a really nice houndstooth dress here, which would be very very yeah. simple, got it. easy. Again, you can see with the contrasting colours would be fantastic. Or if you're feeling a little braver and you want to wear something a bit more vintage to the office, we put a black dress with an original 60s shirt underneath. And again, you can see the contrast would be great with a pair of mod shoes tights. Or again, like I said, if you're going to wear it more casually, you could easily wear this with a pair of fishnets and a leather skirt. And it still looked great, you know. Yeah. And it's again, the sizing is generous. The shape is wonderful. It's really nice and it's going to be good for the autumnal weather as well, so you can wear them too. Right, we got. Uh, I'll give you some social media shouts yes. out on that. Uh, well done, Beth, for keeping Andy in check. <laughs> I Thank you, Pete. just uh, Madam Whiplash here will keep this man in order. <laughs> While I'm on the screen, there's no messing about. And and Lucy Lulu Lucy Patton, she says she loves with a heart. So they've obviously gone down well. So Fantastic, that's cool. wonderful. So we got last but not least. Last but not least, we've got the Marianne's. Um, I think again, not only these being vegan, these are really versatile. Um, I think these are going to be great again on the mod scene for dancing. They're good for the office and they're good for coming up to springtime. I would put these again if I was going to go for business wear. I would put with something probably again. It would be really really versatile. You could if you felt brave in the office go for houndstooth and orange i think it would look great with a white pair of tights it would look good on the scene it would look good in the shops easy peasy or if i was going to go for casual this is one of my ones i picked i went for something more like kind of with a jumper and a layer and again it's something that you can wear casually or smart um these as well i think are easy because they're a smaller heel yep. some people don't want a higher heel um, again this is easy to walk in they're versatile and again i would say these are just as good quality as the leather ones so yep. These. Vegan or not, I think these are ones to go for. And these are baked bean coloured. Ba <laughs> they're baked bean coloured. They're amazing. Love them. This is cool. Right, but it's all right. I'm just... Um, and it's just checking. on the social media. You're all flooding in with conversation. So well, we're just it, having a quick nosy. To, to be fair, it, this is the first time we've kind of... So you understand, just be boring technical for a second. <laughs> we are on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and we're on Instagram, Instagram as well as we're at the moment. And I'm just making sure it works because um, we've had a few technical issues where we tried to do it in the past without putting too fine a point on it. Indeed. So we, we, we seem to have got past that. So uh, um, I've got two videos playing as I speak, so, which is quite weird. Uh, um, so can we go through the prices, Andy? We haven't gone through the prices yet. So. Yeah, so we've got the Sybils in Plum. Um, there may be another colour color of these later in the year okay. uh, um, because I hope that the wedding season comes back. Yeah, these would be great, I think, looking at them. They'd be good for Mother of the Bride. They'd be yeah. good for even actually a 40s bride. They'd be really good for if you're yeah. wearing like a more of a kind of a 
classic wedding suit. Yeah. Really, really good. And again, again, the heel size is so simple. It's what what size is the heel again? Oh, tiny. It's the they're, same as Marianne. I think it's made on the same inch. Line. They're about an inch. Yeah. Um, again, really comfortable. And again, easy to get on and off. I think they're really lovely. So if they do come in another colour in the new, you know, in the yep. next couple of months, fantastic. Nancy's. The Nancy's are one two five. Lots of leather, that's why they, they go yeah. up in price. Lots of leather, they've got a buckle on the side, and again, like I said, they're really generous in size, they're yeah. great. And again, if in doubt, order the two pairs and you can return. That's it, and lastly, uh, on the corner there, the Marianne's. Marianne's, they're 105. They're 105, and again, also if you go onto the Mod Shoes website, these do come in other colours, but I don't think they're vegan, are they the other ones? No, we, we might, no, is the answer. They're all. There is an extension. I'm trying of to think if there's another vegan, vegan one. I can't. I think this right. is our first vegan one. There isn't is it? an yeah. option if you go onto the Mod Shoes website where it says vegan options. So if you're unsure, just click on that. But the the Marianne's do come in a rainbow of colours. So check them out. They look beautiful. They're just not vegan. That's right. Now I think we've got everything there. Yes. So just to reiterate for the fifteenth time, <laughs> Friday, five o'clock live on the website. Yes. If you're on the newsletter and you've got um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're on the email newsletter, you'll be getting an email about quarter past four. Mm -hmm. Jump on there and you get first dibs. So if you've got the mailing list, you get the first choice. And yep. remember, there's only limited sizes as well. So Right, I've summed that up. I don't think there's anything else I need to talk about. Brambo, is there anything I've forgotten? No. No. Right, let's just do some last minute sh uh, shout outs. So all the people that have joined us on um, YouTube, uh, YouTube for, on Instagram for the first time, Thank you. Nice to see you. Yes. Uh, um, hopefully you'll be back for some more, and hopefully we'll build on this. Yes. Um, let's just go over to here. We go. There's a few more. Uh, a Miller Lord, um, a Miller Lord, I think. Uh, bless her. She's just done a, a mo an emoji with loving all around it. Uh. Oh blimey, I'm late. Sorry. I can't start again now. <laughs> and, he's, and he's done. He's done. You'll just have to rewatch it later on. <laughs> so uh, um, Can you I like more. Yeah, there's no, there's just people joining and saying hello, basically. Um, has has Beth, Beth got ta a cat tattoo on her knees? Pete Carl wants to know. I do have a tattoo on my knees of a plaster with blood dripping out of it because I'm a clumsy woman. <laughs> Does that save you actually having to have a plaster put there? Yes, um, I fall over all the time. I was born on Friday the 13th, so I was thought you? it was apt to have a permanent plaster on my knee because I'm always falling over. <laughs> I fell over just yet though. But Pete's a good friend of the show and, and if anybody notices anything, it's Pete. So, uh, 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 um, right, what have we got left to do? A uh, couple of things we've got mm -hmm. to do. So the next show, as you may notice, this one's been much more about shoes and yes. mod shoe stuff. Uh, the next one we're going to do on uh, Tuesday the 23rd is with Luke. I think Luke or Beth will be here. I think yep. we'll see what happens on that one. That's going to be some sneak peek of the men's stuff. We have got some new men's stuff coming through. It's not going to take any. Is it going to be shoes or clothes, Andy? Uh, there's, with fingers crossed, it will be both. Right. Uh, um, political for two seconds. It's a bit of a Brexit issue. Basically, getting stuff into the, the cus country for the first time is hard work because there's various... Mm -hmm. Things you have to think. I've signed a form the other day saying that I won't fill uh, landfill my shoes. Andy will not be landfilling mod shoes. No, uh, not Just anytime soon. Legal quotes there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 23rd of March will be the next one of these. Yep. Um, what else do we need to say? We're done. Uh, thank you, everyone who's brought this and everybody for watching. We'll see you all again soon. And can I thank Beth? You're welcome, Andy. For filling in. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. See you all soon. See Have you a soon. lovely weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.